we can continue now with the rest of the option in the view rendering. You can select a, a light here. This is we show before about the lighting. And then we need to select an atmosphere here. Let me show here an example. So you can see here, the new atmosphere are similar uh, to the old environment used in Lusology re uh, rendering engine. And it is used to obtain realistic atmospheric effect in render. It is basically what the sky look like. And uh, you can define, let me go to the editor here. So you can define uh, about the, the definition of the sun, of the cloud, or fog and haze, or if the sky is uh, clear, or you can add, for example, different effects uh, for star or rainbow, etc. So the new view rendering engine can with a full set of rendering preset that you can see here, this different preset and this atmosphere that can be used directly to enable to produce realistic image and amazing sky to obtain successful exterior render, but uh, much easier than before and with minimum effort using this new atmosphere. So let me show you some example here so you can see different skies. So for example, this one, or you can see here a different sky, or this one, or this is uh, clear, the afternoon, or for example, here, or this one. Okay, so this is the same theme, but only change the atmosphere using the preset information in MicroStation. Okay, so you can see here different solution, different image. And then, of course, we can change the brightness and the contrast level while the image is being rendering without having to restart the process. And you can see the change in a real time. So if you change this value and at the same time that you are rendering, you can see the real time and you don't need to stop the rendering to review, not only in the fast, but uh, to the final render too. And then if you want to render a scene and you want to be able to perform the relighting and the MPR effect, you can see here the option, you will need to enable this option before, okay, prior to rendering. Okay, so now you are ready to go. Now you only need to click. We have two options. We can select the fast preview to give a fast preview of the rendering and you can do some change in the view or you can click render to start rendering process to render the final image from the view. Now rendering time has decreased for both for fast and for the final rendering. You can see for example you can see here the time that take the rendering to for this image for example in this case is a uh, seven uh, near eight minutes, okay, or in this case, eight minutes for second, or let me select another one uh, for this is six minutes. So you can see this is very, very fast, okay. Of course, if you need, you can save the image, same as uh, before, and um, then I can also view here the previous rendering down here in the lower bottom corner and I can open from this little arrow. I can select those previous rendering and bring to the screen and take a look. So for example, you can see I can change from this one. Okay, so this is my previous rendering and I can select and display again. And you can see here some information about the rendering, the time and then the quality that you use and the size. Okay. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.